Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday and I am about to check out in a couple of hours. I am just packing everything. I plan on leaving my carry-on at the bellhop because my flight isn't until three o'clock. So I still have a couple of hours to, you know, burn. So i rather not do that at the airport. So I'm gonna go back to um, MGM Grand because they have that uh, CBS television uh, thing that I figured, you know, be another hour. And then I'll probably, well, who knows, maybe I'll just stay in the area or something, or maybe I'll go on the roller coaster. <laughs> My Fitbit, for some reason, is not working. I've tried shutting it and starting it, that wouldn't work. I tried plugging it in. It works when it's charged, but then it immediately shuts off when I remove it from the charger. So I'm not sure what's going on. It's kind of annoying. And it's past the warranty, so I can't even get a replacement. But I do have two, if you guys watched a video from a couple months ago where I talk about using the Fitbit for the first time, I, I do have two. So worst case scenario is I'll just have to use the second one, but it's kind of annoying because I had, I've been using this one for less than a year. You know, I started using it literally almost a year ago so for it to break after a year just randomly because i don't do anything other than you know using my wrist i don't put in water i don't do anything so it's just kind of annoying like it, it would break after a year so i don't know if it fits are really good investments if this is the case i'm just gonna shower get changed be ready to check out by 10 and we're gonna head to MGM Grand for that uh, television viewing. Before I head out, this is the outfit that I'm wearing on the plane and to LA. <laughs> I've eaten so much. This shirt used to not show, you know, so much of the midsection. So, you know, I've got, I've got some work to do when I get back home. But that's how everything is looking. I definitely put on like probably a good 10 to 20 pounds. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm 190 again. It is what it is. It is what it is. Vacations only once in a lifetime opportunities. First time in Vegas, will not trade it. And I will not trade anything that I have eaten. So here's that. <laughs> All right, let's go to MGM Grand. <laughs> <laughs> all right i just finished for the cbs show it was something called true lies it wasn't that good it's basically just think of a random fbi international foreign agent kind of show that was basically it it really wasn't that good <laughs> but i don't watch shows like that so it wasn't something that i would watch again i didn't know you couldn't go back on your screen because they're like oh you can't go back because it brought me to the loading page i didn't even finish with the survey so i don't even know if my responses were recorded i'm going to just walk around i still have another hour until i want to go to the airport so i'm just gonna walk around a bit i think i'm gonna go to the excalibur i did though i'm kind of i feel like i'm done with las vegas so i'm excited to go to la today so i'm here at the excalibur of course, it's a casino. This must be a non-smoking casino though because it does not reek of cigarettes. It's very nice. I am looking for the restaurants. So I think it's gonna be this way. But this is the Excalibur Casino. And I this way. Airbnb. Uh, my flight to LA was delayed a bit and we got here about like 15 minutes later 
and then ride share. I had to use Lyft and that took another like 20 or 30 minutes. So anyways, I am here and I'm staying at an Airbnb. So I just want to show you quickly the setup for this Airbnb. So there's there's uh, actually three entrances to get to this Airbnb and it's in Santa Monica. So when you come in, they have a little mirror here and a little small window. It's a basement studio, so take that as we will. They have a TV, some tables, a futon. I will not be using that. Looks like that's a full size bed. We're gonna go to the kitchen first. So little kitchenette, very clean, bigger than my hotel room. <laughs> um, so they have all that and some drawers and I think there's like coffee pods in here and stuff like that, which is really nice. Um, and little mini fridge too as well. Stove top and I think they have some, you know, glasses and stuff in a microwave. So it's pretty nice and a little toaster oven. Trash. I don't know what this is. I'm sure cleaning <laughs> or something like that. Bathroom. So they have extra towels. Please turn on bathroom fan and shine. Okay. And then let's look at the bathtub. You know me, I always like bathroom slippers. So let me see if I can turn on the light. So it's okay. Fairly clean. Extra whatnot. So um I'm not gonna open that <laughs> yet. So there's the bathroom. Again, it's a basement studio. Bed, can we saw that little nightstand and laundry and extra blankets and sheets and whatnot. So that's basically it. It's right by the Santa Monica Beach. I would say about 20 minutes uh, walking. So I got it for around $600 for four nights, which I think is a pretty good deal if you're in Santa Monica. I am probably gonna go maybe to the pier, something like that, see if I can do, or I might just crash and sleep. <laughs> we'll see, but I'm here, I'm tired, I'm kind of, it's crappy weather and cold. Kind of miss the Las Vegas 100 degree weather, if I'm being honest. But you would think that Los Angeles could mimic that, but it's actually a bit chilly right now. So it's in the little, uh, low 60s. So I am going to be wearing my sweater, I guess, throughout the entire day. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, May 20th. First full day in Santa Monica, and I want to show my outfit. So I'm just wearing this kind of tank, little oversized. Um, this kimono, and I'm just gonna wear Birkenstocks with that as well. I didn't film a lot of my arrival because I came up came late. You guys know I did go to Hi Ho for their cheeseburger. That was really good as well as their fries. I didn't videotape that um so i was just not in the mood honestly it's gonna be a no makeup couple of days the vibes of santa monica are not the same vibes i have for las vegas now las vegas weather was great it was nearing 100 which i didn't mind i actually enjoyed the hot weather it was sunny all day Santa Monica weather is not the best right now. It's the high is a 62, so I even packed a sweater because I'm feeling very cold and I missed the Las Vegas heat. And also the Airbnb is nice. You know, it's not bad at all. This is my first time staying at an Airbnb, but maybe I'm just used to hotels because I don't know. I I don't know how I feel about it. I mean it has its pros and cons. It was cheaper, but I saw another hotel before booking that was similar in price. So I don't know if I'll stay at an Airbnb again because I just don't know how I feel about them. So yeah, I'm not wearing makeup these next couple of days. I'm going to give my face a break. I just, I'm really not in the mood. I think 
I don't know if I should have done a two-part trip. I really was looking forward to LA. And maybe when I get the rental tomorrow, I'll be a bit more excited. Because at the moment, I'm just kind of meh about everything. I am doing a bike tour today. I'm about to walk over to Third Street Parmenade, which is where the High Ho Burgers were. I took an Uber that time, but this time I'm going to walk. Um, it's, you know, approach my watch doesn't work and I'm looking empty, empty wrist. So it's approaching, I believe, 10. So the bike rental opens up at 10. So I'm going to head out over there. I'm going to just bring a backpack. Hopefully today's good. And we're just going to do a little exploring around the coast. This is the weather I'm talking about. It looks like it's going to rain. But it's just going to be like this all day. So no chance of rain. But just cloudy and just... <sighs> not the vibes. <laughs> it is not the vibes I expected. It's okay. We're going to make the best out of this trip. Can we just talk about the gas prices here? Six dollars and forty-five cents. Friday, May twentieth, twenty twenty-two, and these are the gas prices here in California. Absurd. Before I do the bike rental, I'm just gonna head out to the Santa Monica Pier and just explore a bit. I will try to document everything I see at the pier. I just didn't know if you can bring bikes here. I don't think you can. I think it's walkable only, so I don't want to bring the bike out here. So I'm just going to give you guys a little tour. It's cold. It gets colder as you get towards, you know, the coast in the Pacific Ocean. This is my first time seeing the Pacific Ocean, so it's pretty cool. So let's do a quick view. So you go down this path and you're entering the pier. There's parking here too. If you ever have a rental. But we're gonna see all the stops and head out to the beach. And then when we're done with the beach, we'll do the little bike rental and go towards more things down the coast. So they have a couple of restaurants when you first enter. It's not that crowded and it's not the best weather at the moment unfortunately or i guess fortunately because it's not that busy but we're gonna see we're not gonna buy anything we're gonna head to the beach maybe put on my sweater because i am freezing maybe buy a sweater because i'm freezing looks like none of the rides are operating too at the moment but we'll check that out it's also still kind of fairly early it's around 10 10 30 you know west coast people don't get up early in the morning <laughs> i'm sure it's more busier at night but maybe we'll head back down here at night time you could also run scooters and bikes here too there's the beach you can just smell the salt water oh, i love it to go under this too but it's way too cold to be in the water like that he needs to get out of there of the pier 
And you can actually go down the steps here to go even further, which I'll do now. Some people are fishing over here. And yeah. What? Also the back here. Dude, I hope there was giant sand bass right over here. That freaking made my rod. Such a view. Yeah, this, see, this is exactly what I needed to put me out of the funk. So nice, so nice. Walking back, let's do that bike rental, but I had said earlier, I'm happy I came. Got me in a good mood. I'm becoming really confident in talking to myself on camera in public. So I'm very happy for this trip. It's a good self-love kind of trip, which I really needed. I rented my bike. I am using a city bike. Oh, so, can't really see it, but I have a handle, but I'm gonna actually remove the, my backpack because it's making it a bit wobbly. So I'm gonna see if I can find the bike pass and try to coordinate everything. coming up it's still cloudy i went to holy grail donuts they were closed i did not check their instagram before i went but it was just a six minute minute bike uh ride off the path so next i am gonna head to venice beach it's very hard to try to film and bike at the same time so i apologize in advance but i'm having a good time with this city bike i like how the brakes are on the handrail so I prefer this over the cruiser and just flows a bit better too when you're trying to go off bike path. So if you're just trying to cruise around the bike path, I think get a cruiser, but the city bike is best if you want to try to do the whole bike path, which is what I'm trying to do. Next up is Venice Beach. Let's see if I can try to film some of this. Actually, we're technically here, so a lot of festivities going on. Sun is peeking in and out. I think it's actually beautiful weather for bike riding. It's not too hot and it's not cold, so I think I had an appropriately dressed fit. <laughs> Beach, and let's watch some skateboarders. A lot of people are watching, and I want to watch.
So I'm just biking around Venice. I think bikes aren't allowed in the boardwalk area, but I'm not gonna chance it. I'm kind of just biking uh, in between areas. So I'm off the bike path, essentially. I'm so happy. <laughs> I keep on saying that, but I really am just because of the vibes and the mood and everything. Venice is very relaxing to be in. And I still have about six or so more hours of the rental. And I'm gonna use every minute of it today because tomorrow is the car. So I'm just, I'm really happy. I keep on saying that, but I am. And I'm very happy that I have this bike rental and just exploring all the views of Venice. We're gonna go back on the bike path and we're gonna hit up the boardwalk and I'll take some videos of that as well. So I'm at Venice Beach. I decided to get the window, fries, and a burger in here. Uh, I deeply regret not getting a beach towel. So now everything's gonna be full of sand. It's all good though, it's all good. It's not gonna ruin my mood and vibes. So I'm just gonna have my little first meal of the day, which is of course a cheeseburger. Uh, just watching the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Marina del Rey, so close to Playa del Rey Beach. It's a very good feeling to be here today. After my mood yesterday, I really needed this. So I'm so happy I planned this and I'm happy it's not gonna rain. And it's again, beautiful weather for bike ride. No sweat, uh, feeling good. So let's continue on to Playa del Rey Beach. <music> homes cost honestly but it's a pretty empty beach and you know it's it's giving rich vibes it's, it is giving rich vibes still have to go to Manhattan Beach and I'm probably not gonna be able to make it to Redondo Beach so I'll probably stop at Manhattan Beach uh, and then head back because it is getting a little bit late. It's mid-afternoon. I probably won't get to Manhattan Beach until 3. That's because I just keep on stopping and taking videos and whatnot. So enough stopping. Next view is going to be Manhattan Beach. I'm telling you, I'm not going to stop again. These are the vibes I am talking about. Right by the Pacific Ocean. Oh my goodness. I love it. If anyone ever goes to Los Angeles, this is a must do. Honestly, it is a must do. Just biking out here, you stop by the beach. I wish I had more time. I wish I came like maybe at 7 a.m. if there was ever a bike rental open and just spend my whole day here. But I technically did and it has been such a joyous time and I'm very happy as I say over and over again. We made it to Manhattan Beach here. So Let's walk down that. Yes, I do have time for Redondo Beach, but I don't want to bet it. So I think I'm probably just going to do the U-turn back. But we'll go down the pier, maybe stay at the beach for a bit. It's just straight, you know, unlike the Santa Monica Pier, this is just a straight uh, walk through. We're going to go all the way to the end. But you can see the beach. 
it's definitely not like you know get in the water unless you're surfing but there are people surfing out there but it is a little bit chilly because it's the coast we're at the end of the pier they have a little aquarium <laughs> Airbnb. I picked up some Mexican. I'm watching Sing 2. It was a good day. Very fun day. I'm very happy about today. And this will definitely be the highlight of my trip. So I'm just going to enjoy this California burrito. I'm going to watch Sing 2. Probably watch Don't Look Up after this. But very good day. And I'm so happy. Today was such a good day. And I really needed this mentally. Mentally, I really needed that bike ride. So I will see you guys on day two slash day three. Day two of my full day in um, Santa Monica slash Los Angeles. See ya. <laughs>